Abraham's Sacrifice. We all know the story. Abraham was a pagan idol worshipper, found something better in monotheistic beliefs following the one true God, and in order to test his faith, God told him, had a vision to sacrifice his only son who was replaced by a ram. A God who wanted absolute obedience asked an ex-pagan to do a pagan human sacrifice to prove his Iman. Something does not sound right, and I have a knack of smelling what the rock is cooking, so here goes. Quranic recipe, not the Bukharian mishmash. Before the relevant verses, here is what we are told in the Quran about Abraham as an example for us to follow, the millet or creed of Abraham. Abraham was virtue personified devoted in his commitment to God, turning away from all that is false. He upheld strict monotheism and never indulged in idolatry of any kind. His impact on history was like that of a whole community. Amma, community, a community based on a noble ideology, virtue personified, in this context. He was always grateful for the blessings granted by him who had chosen him and guided him onto straight path. We gave him good reward in the world. And in the hereafter he shall be among those who actualized their human potentials. We have revealed to you this message, O Prophet, follow the creed of Abraham who turned away from all that is false. He was, by no means, of the idolaters. The following exegesis explains the verses of the Quran that needed all the fluff of the Hadith to improve on the story by making it about human sacrifice, ram substitution when the word ram is not there, and miracles. Copying the Bible is the order of the Bukharian game. So we gave him the good news of a clement son, Ishmael. And when he was old enough to strive along with him, Abraham said, O oh my dear son, I have had a vision that I must give you to a life of test and tribulation for a noble cause. So look, what do you think? He said, O oh my father, do what you are commanded. God willing, you will find me of the steadfast. Have had a dream, have had a vision. Zip and zap, sacrifice, disregard comfort for a noble cause. Just as Katel, to subdue, kill, fight, but also humiliate, bring low. As both of them had surrendered themselves to God, he made Ishmael further submit in gratitude. Contrary to popular tradition, Abraham never envisioned or intended to slaughter his son. God does not play games with his servants. Literal forehead to ground, complete submission in gratitude, we called unto, called unto him, O Abraham, you have already affirmed the vision. We, this is so, we must reward the doors of good. This was a trial, clear in itself. Leaving the prestigious office of chief priesthood in Babylon and now the comfort of Syria for the wilderness of Mecca. We exchanged his life for a momentous sacrifice. Please notice here the absence of the biblical and the traditional myth of a ram sent from the heavens. Also, note that slaughtering of a sheep or goat, by no means, can be considered a momentous sacrifice. And we left for him remembrance among the later generations. Peace and salutation to Abraham. Thus do we reward the benefactors of humanity. He was one of our truly believing servants. All of the Quran is about giving up on the wrong and doing right, which has at its foundation the belief in and following closely the teachings of the one true God, Allah. When we add the Bible story to the Quran, we lose sight of the wisdom that Allah has presented for us to learn from and instead start debating whether it was Isaac or Ishmael, ram from heaven, how great a miracle it was, etc. And the devil gave Abraham the sacrifice vision to misguide him. But this is negated by the fact that the vision was fulfilled. Who reads the Quran alone? The vision was indeed fulfilled. The rejection of all that was false. Also mentioned in the book, the story of Abraham. Indeed, he was a man of truth, a prophet. 
He even confronted his father, Azor, O oh my father! Why do you worship what is not and sees not and can be of no avail to you? O oh my father! There has come to me of knowledge that did not come to you. Follow me then, and I will lead you onto a perfect way. O oh my father! Do not serve the Satan, for Satan, selfish desire, is a rebel against the beneficent. O oh my father! I am afraid that a retribution from the beneficent might overtake you, and you become an ally of Satan. He answered, Do you dislike my gods, O Abraham? If you cease not, I will certainly get you stoned to death. Now get away from me for good. Abraham said, Peace be upon, upon you. I will pray to my Lord for your forgiveness. For, he is ever kind to me. Quran on chain.